Welcome to Level Up Architect, the channel where we explore the world of architecture, one architect at a time. I'm your host Lionel, and in today's video I would like to introduce you to a Japanese architect named Shigeru Ban, and five of my favorite buildings that he designed. Let's go meet Shigeru Ban. This is Shigeru Ban. In 2014, he won the Pitzker Architecture Prize for his significant contribution to humanity through his work in architecture. The Pitzker Prize has been handed out to one special architect each year since 1979. It is probably the most prestigious award one can get in the world of architecture. He has completed a wide spectrum of building typologies that include clubhouses, theaters, art galleries, and even some disaster relief housing schemes. The first project I would like to show you is a very unconventional house. It's called Curtain Wall House. It's located in Tokyo, Japan, and was completed in 1995. This building really blew my mind the first time I saw it. I had no idea who Shigeru Ban was, but after seeing this house, I was surely hooked on his architecture. Instead of having a traditional facade, the building has a very big white curtain that wraps around the two exposed edges of the building, enclosing the second and third floor. To me, this reinterpreted what a wall could be, but more importantly, I believe that this was Shigeru Ban's attempt to reinterpret shoji, traditional Japanese wood and paper screens. Paper would go on to become one of Shigeru Ban's favorite materials to experiment with. While the curtains provide a light, breathable skin to the exterior of the building, there are glass and aluminum sliding windows that can close the internal portion of the building, providing a little bit more protection from the elements. At the 2006 Singapore Biennale, Shigeru Ban designed a pavilion to act as the information center for the event. The structure of the pavilion is made up of paper tubes and steel connectors. Notably, this was the first space frame ever to be constructed out of paper tubes. It reminds me a lot of how we would assemble Lego technique sets. This means that after the event is completed, this structure can be disassembled and reassembled somewhere else to be reused. I can't help but wonder if this isn't another reinterpretation of a shoji panel. When you stand underneath the canopy of this pavilion, the roof sheeting would represent the paper and the space frame would represent the timber frame of a shoji panel. In 2011, an earthquake destroyed a very large portion of the Christchurch in New Zealand. This rendered the building unusable. As a response, Shigeru Ban was asked to design a temporary cathedral. This was called the Cardboard Cathedral and was completed in 2013. The name Cardboard Cathedral comes from the use of Shigeru Ban's favorite structural element, the paper tube. In this case, he uses gigantic paper tubes to form the structure of this triangular shaped cathedral. He once again uses translucent roof sheeting over the paper tubes to allow natural light to filter in from above. And finally, he decorates the triangular street facing facade with a reinterpretation of traditional stained glass windows. I can't help but once again be reminded of Shoji. I think this building is wonderful. I think it has to be quite a magnificent sight to behold at night in the city. It must shine like a jewel. My second favorite project by Shigeru Ban is the Hazley Nine Bridges Golf Clubhouse located in Yeoju, South Korea and was completed in 2010. This project really showcases Shigeru Ban's mastery of timber structures. In this case, Shigeru Ban designs these three-story high tree-like timber columns 
that wrap onto the ceiling to create a pattern. There are two reasons why I really like this building. The first is the abundance of natural light. This is achieved by providing full height glazed curtain walls that surround the space as well as a skylight situated above each one of the tree light columns. The second was the construction technology that went into this building. Large portions of the timber structure were prefabricated and craned into place. This allowed them the freedom and precision that they needed to realize Shigeru Ban's intricate design. Finally, my favorite project from Shigeru Ban is the Tainan Art Museum. It is located in Tainan, Taiwan and was completed in 2019. This building really reminds me of Moshe Safdi's Habitat 67. If you like this building, please go watch the video I did on Moshe Safdi. I believe you will enjoy that video as well. Both of them similarly stack rectangles on top of one another. While Moshe Safdi sticks to regular sizes because of the nature of residential architecture, Shigeru Ban has the freedom to make his rectangles larger and smaller and position them at odd angles to one another. The roof structure of the building is another space frame, this time supported by V-shaped columns that allow the roof to seemingly float above the shapes that Shigeru Ban has created. The rectangular exhibition spaces are all arranged around a central atrium. In this atrium you will find a large steel structure that houses the lifts for the building and also supports the roof structure. This allows a ton of light to flood into the space and is obviously very good for art exhibitions. The thing that fascinates me most about this building is the way that it interacts with the public. Most of these roof spaces are accessible by the public. Not just one or two of them, almost all of them are easily accessible. You can see that you can just climb up these stairs to access this roof terrace and up another flight of stairs to access that. Perhaps it's somewhere people can walk past, sit, have a chat with a friend or come and drink a coffee. I really think these kinds of spaces really give back to the community and that is why I really love this building. Those are my five favorite buildings by Shigeru Ban. Please let me know what you thought about these buildings in the comments down below. Links to everything in the video can be found in the video's description. If you have a suggestion for an architect that you would like to see in the next video, please feel free to make a request in the comments as well. If you liked the video, please remember to share it with a friend and smash that like button. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.